Hello all, uh, so this is a video that we're uploading after a few technical issues again this evening with our internet connection and our Facebook and YouTube lives. So fingers crossed you are all being able to watch this back and we'll hopefully enjoy it. So I'm going to get started. So I will just move that off and put that up and flip you around. There we go. So here we go. We're going to be working with Trailing Thoughts today which is a large stamp and then we've got happy birthday, happy thoughts, you are one of a kind and I'm so sorry. Now those four sentiments all fit in the middle here. So if you want to use them, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. We're also going to be using our line stencil and we are going to be using our circle stencils and mask. We are also using, as per normal, our Versafine Onyx Black, Crystal Clear Embossing Powder, Sticky Glue that comes in the two sizes, 120 or, one, or 30 GSM, 120 or 30 mil. We're also using our blending brushes that come again, also in two sizes. So we've got the large blending brush in the case and the smaller one that comes with a little cap on top to protect those bristles. We're using our anti-static bag and we have got our cardstock in black, which is 120 GSM or 270 GSM and also in white, which is one, uh, 250 GSM or 300 GSM. We are also using Distress Oxides this evening in a variety of colours. I'm trying to do this without it all falling down. So we have got Squeeze Lemonade. Just going to peep them in here so that you can just see them so I don't have to move everything around. So we've got Squeeze Lemonade, Fossilised Amber, um, Wild Honey, Spiced Marmalade and Carved Pumpkin. We're also using a couple of other little bits. So I have got a paintbrush, a white Secura gel pen. We have a white pencil, soft lead if you've got one. Um, one of these little smudgy blending tools that you can sharpen. It's like made out of pressed paper. And I'm using a Micron Pigment Micron 04 in black. Um, but you can also do this with just a normal biro if you're happier to do that. Right, so we're making two cards tonight. The first one is a black, is an eight by eight card. Our black piece of cardstock here is seven and a half inch square. Just making sure I've got the right way around. And the white piece that we're gonna be using is seven inch square. So none of my odd bod bits today. So let's carry on. So I've got my lines stencil and my make art station. I'm gonna take a piece of kitchen paper and place that underneath, just so that I don't get my ink on the white cardstock that's under there that I want to keep white. So I'm gonna take all my colors. I'm afraid you're gonna get my arm across you for a few minutes while I'm picking up the colors, but hopefully not for too long. So I'm gonna start off with carved pumpkin and we're gonna use that right at the bottom and I just pulled that piece out there and I didn't want to. So we're just going to lightly blend over the top here. With the lines ones, it is easier if you can work with the lines rather than do what I just started by smudging it, which is my natural reaction with a stencil. Um, I'm not going all the way across the page. I am leaving some white space. So don't be scared of leaving white space. You've heard me say that before. So we're just gonna... Now this one is the Spiced Marmalade. And I'm doing roughly two, because I've got five colors, roughly three lines on each one, but it doesn't have to be exact. Then we are going with our, what color is this one? Wild Honey. As I said, it doesn't have to be exact. Then we're going with fossilized amber. And it doesn't all have to line up. I'm purposefully not making it a 
solid image. And then last but not least, we've got squeeze lemonade. So I'll just take those two away and just have a quick look underneath. Yeah, I'm happy with that. <coughs> so we've got our image slightly off to one side. I need to put my stencil somewhere because that yellow spreads a long way. Right, so that's the hardest part of the event done. So you need your anti-static bag, which I have here somewhere, there we go. Purely because I'm not gonna have time to let that dry, I'm just wiping the anti-static bag over the top. I'm done with my stencil makeup station now, so that can go away. So we are going to take our Trailing Thoughts stamp, and we're gonna stamp that out with Onyx Black. Lots and lots of little light taps all over your stamp. And then we're going to position this where we want it to be. I'm going roughly in the middle, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It is wherever it lands. Fingers crossed we're not getting too much freezing on this. I'm hoping it's not too bad. I'm then going to quickly pop some crystal clear on the top. Hopefully that's only going to stick because we yet yeah, well, because we've used an anti-static bag, it will only stick where the ink is, not where the distress oxides was. underneath and hopefully you'll be able to see that change in colour so it's taking the powder from a powder form to a solid You're then going to take that scrap piece I told you that we, oh, I can't remember if I did mention it, but you do need a scrap piece, um, just because we want to stamp these flowers out again. So I'm just going to ink those flowers up, and I've just seen there's a little bit on that one that I've missed. So I'll just grab that quickly while I can. Okay. So we're going to ink the flowers up on here. Pop that off to one side and stamp those flowers out again as well. And also heat emboss those with crystal clear embossing powder. I do believe there is a little bit of freezing with this video, but please bear with us. I am working through and hopefully um, we can get this dealt with, but it probably won't be dealt with today. So again, I'm just going to heat that up from underneath.
I'm then going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to wet my paintbrush and then almost dry it off completely. I'm then going to take some of our two darker colours of ink. So we've got some carved pumpkin. I'm going to pick that up as much as that I can on that brush and colour in those flowers. You don't have to stay in the lines because there is a little bit of fussy cutting here to do. And then we're also going to do the same with our spiced marmalade. I'm going to wet that brush, dry it off, pick up some of that colour and just paint that on there. As I said, it doesn't have to be beautiful because you would be cutting those out. Right, I'm just going to take a piece of kitchen paper and just buff those to get as much of that excess um, paint off those. If you're brave enough, you can go in with a very damp piece of paper, tissue paper, and it is only damp, literally damp, and that will take off as much as possible of that for you. Of that is the oxide that may have rested itself on that embossing powder. So once you've done that, I'm gonna ask you to fussy cut those and you'll end up with something along these lines. I've then taken a my kebab stick when I find it. And I've cut right down to this, almost to the center of this flower, almost to the center. And then I'm literally just gonna roll those over. Just give those a little bit of a wiggle. And that would be our flowers cut, ready to roll. So I'm gonna go back to this one. I want to pop a sentiment in the middle here. So I'm gonna put, you are one of a kind in the middle. Now the one thing is you've got lines on there, so try your best to keep it as straight as possible. But if it's not straight, it doesn't, it's not going to hurt anybody, is it? So again, a little bit of crystal clear embossing powder. Tap the excess off. Remember with the VersaFine Onyx Black, don't give that embossing powder a big old flick. You just need a light tap that will take the excess off for you. And then we're going into heat that up again. I'm going to give that a little bit of a wiggle. Now, ideally, because this is white and these are orange, unless you match them up perfectly, it isn't going to be great. So I am just going to go in and lightly pick up some of our ink and quickly just scribble a little bit of colour over the top of those flowers. Just in case you missed that, I have just literally popped a little bit of colour over there so that it's not completely white underneath if your flowers don't match up perfectly. Because we're sticking those flowers on the top of these. If they're not a perfect fit, you don't want a pure white flower underneath as well. So as I say, it doesn't have to be done perfectly just give it a little bit. So we're then gonna take, I think we'll go straight in and stick this down. Okay, 
I did do one earlier and it's had time to relax. Remember how, no, I'm not gonna use that one. I am gonna stick with the one I had that you just watched me doing. And we're gonna pop him on some foam pads, I think. So I'm gonna take some sticky glue. But before I do the sticky glue, and it hasn't come out yet, so I'm all right, I am going to marry this flower up. It may look like it's a perfect fit and they're all exactly the same but they're not all exactly the same. There we go, it had to be the last way around, didn't it? So I'm just going to pop some glue on here. Just a tiny little bit in the middle there. And pop that down. Take my kebab stick to hold that in place just until it's happy and give that petal a little bit of dimension. Oh, managed to push myself off there. And we'll do the same with the smaller flower. on there and again hold that in place just for a couple of seconds for it to grip. And then I just want to pop a couple of little gems on there as well. So I'm just grabbing those while this over I'm not going to put it down on maybe I am going to put it down on foam pads have I got any big ones here I'm sure I have I'm going to find every size but the big ones but A little trick for you if you're using foam pads and you still want some wiggle room pop a little bit of wet glue on the back of them as well before you stick them down it won't stop them sticking it just gives you a couple of minutes to get them where you want them to be place that down and then as I said I've just got a couple of little gems that I want to pop in the center of those flowers so I can find my tweezers to do it with go with the yellow and oranges yeah I think we will yes definitely a good choice a couple of little gems on there and then last but not least which I have already pre-done I've just done a little happy birthday that we're just going to stick that down as well So that is card number one finished. Okay, so card number two is using our same stamp set and we are doing it with the black and craft card this time. I'm going to stick my black piece down, that means it's out of my way. And that 
that's one less thing to lose. So we're working on the craft card now. So I am going to grab my circles stencils, which is here. And I want my image slightly off to one side again. So I'm just going to take my, actually I am going to do it in biro for a reason. Am I? No, I'll go with the monocro the micro pen. So we're just going to go around, draw ourselves a circle, and then I'm going to put one slightly off at the top here. And one slightly off. what I wanted and then we're going to take now full disclosure here nobody's ever taught me how to do this I'm just playing and I liked what I came up with which is why you got to see it tonight whether I do it right or wrong I don't know I've done it my way and it worked for me and that's all I'm going to say about it so I'm going to color that in really roughly and then take one of these blending smudgy squiggly things and just scribble over the top of that which hopefully will blend that in a little bit you're probably supposed to do it a special way but I haven't and I haven't watched it to see what I'm supposed to do I just fiddled and thought oh, I quite like that we'll show everybody that one And we're going to do the same again on each one of these. I knew why earlier I did it in Biro first. I'm going to go in and just colour each one of these really quickly. So earlier on I did this in Biro first. And then went back over it with the black, with the micron pen. And I think I did it that way because I wanted it more shiny than the black is showing here. But you know what? It's not going to be so. Too late now, as they said. So I'm just literally scribbling all over it. Grubby blending thing, gimme jiggy again. I am trying to avoid those black lines, but I will go back over them if I need to, which I think I probably will do. As I say, I'm no expert at this. It's just something I was fiddling with and quite liked it when I finished it, so I thought I'd share it. Don't like the squeak that goes with it, mind you. We're nearly there, people's I promise. I just wanted to show you how quick you could do this card from scratch. As I say, we're nearly, nearly finished. is not pleasant people
you're probably not supposed to get that either but hey ho there's probably some liquid I'm supposed to be using with this or something but I found my way of doing it and I like the result so we'll go with it right no that's what we've ended up with I've noticed every time I do something a bit quick it freezes so that's what we've ended up with at this moment in time I am going to go back in with my circle so I've gone back in with my circle I'm going to line it up as best I can with that don't really want a double line but if I get one I get one that's life just because I want that to show up as black black so it depends how much you trust yourself to keep that line Before I go any further, I'm then going to stamp my image out on here. But just to be on the safe side, anti-static bag all over the top of that. It's frozen on us again, so hopefully you're still hearing me. Okay, we're back in. So anti-static bag all the way over the top. So I'm giving that onyx black on the ink again. Try and avoid your fingers. Place my image down. Position where I want it to be. Make that commitment. Now, obviously, the craft card isn't as smooth a finish as our white cut stamping card stock, uh, so bear that in mind. You may not get a hundred percent perfect stamped image. And again, we're going to go in with our crystal clear embossing powder. Okay. Now, before I heat this, because I want to avoid putting too much heat on this at any amount of time, this is my own choice again up to you if you want to do it this way or not I am going to ink up my little sentiment again pop in there you're one of a kind and put the embossing powder on that as well that means all my embossing powder has been done on the actual card base Again, we're going to heat this from underneath. the change on this when you see it on the card stock so that's one plus
while that's still warm give it a little bit of a wiggle to try and relax the card a little bit right I'm then going to go in again with the black pen and I'm just going to pop in a couple of little circles and scribbles on here just do them wherever you fancy no right or wrong doesn't matter how many you do if you want to do five million you want to do them all the way around they don't have to be perfect sizes just to add a little bit of interest to it and I'm only doing this on the black circles that I drew on here I will bring it in closer so you can see what I'm actually doing And it's completely freehand it does not have to be perfect I promise you nobody's gonna pull you up if you haven't got the perfect circles everywhere well I'm not anyway so that is all I've done is added those little black dots all the way around okay Then I'm gonna take the gel, gel pen, the white gel pen. I wonder if I can bring this in any closer without it causing us more problems. There we go. Oh, need to go that way. So I'm just going in with the gel pen. And I am literally gonna go on the inside of these flowers just to bring in some white on these flowers as well. Otherwise, they would look a bit bland. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is a handmade card. Remember that when you're making these. I will bring it in closer again so that you can see it once I've finished it. It's quite therapeutic because the embossing powder keeps you in the lines, <laughs> which is always quite handy. While you're working on the inside it works, but when you start going on the outside not so much. So remember that, don't get carried away. Okie talk. I think we maybe need to put a little bit in this one as well because it's a bit lost on that side, isn't it? There, I think that's enough on the flower. And then just go in and pick out some little accents as you go around on your stamped image again just bits and pieces it doesn't have to be all of it and it's just to highlight that little and tie in the white so you're just highlighting little bits of it and it brings that white back to life and includes the stamp in that white as well. So again, you don't have to do the whole thing, you don't have to do any of it. I just thought it added a little bit of something to it, so I did it. And it isn't perfect and I don't mind. How often do you hear me say that? Bear with me. 
Okay, my gel pen's giving me a little bit of trouble there for a second. I need it to run. There we go. I was restricting it a little. Okay. I'm purposefully not looking up because if we're frozen, I will not be happy, Bunny. And I think it does freeze occasionally. So, and I'm now going in over the. A few of the bits that I coloured myself so they're going to be slightly harder to do but don't panic as I've always said if somebody picks me up on how I've made a handmade card they won't get another one flowers here because I've done the others. I think we are just about there. You can overkill it, remember? big flower on the end here which I do want to make sure I include and this piece here okay oh now that looks a bit odd because none of this has got any white at the top there you could keep going and going and going you don't really want to because the whole idea is it's just little accents so that is our finished card base card topper whatever you want to call it just dropped my sentiment on the floor so bear with me one moment while I grab that didn't even go on the floor it fell in a bag so I've done the sa a similar thing with the birthday sentiment. Just realised I haven't done anything on the wording on this one. So we're just going to hop in real quick. Put the one that I did earlier on there. So that we are finished. And then I'm going to grab my card blank. I'm going to pull that out a little bit. So we can see the finished card. on as well and then with my white gel pen I'm literally just gonna everything together again I will come in and show you what I have done
There we go. And that is our finished craft card. So just if I can just bring that up, you can see that I've literally just scribbled all the way around the edge. I've used the cardstock to hold me in place. It just ties in that white and black theme on there. And if you really wanted to, you could do the same here too. finished. So that's the two cards we've made. Hopefully you enjoyed our little video. I will list everything that we've used as well so hopefully um, you'll be able to catch up on everything. You can get me back for a moment. Again I apologise if you are watching this after uh, the fact we did try and do our Facebook live this evening but it just was not happening. So have a lovely evening, everybody. Thank you for those of you that have come back and watched and hopefully you've been inspired. See you all again soon. Take care. Bye.